हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अमरप्रीत कौर अ लेक्चरर फ्रॉम जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट पार्ट टू कंजर्वेशन ऑफ बायोडाइवर्सिटी एंड इन पार्ट टू आई विल डिस्क्राइब द वेज और स्ट्रेटजीज बाय विच बायोडाइवर्सिटी कैन बी कंजर्व broadly there are two ways of conservation of biodiversity one is in situ and another is ex situ in situ means on site conservation and ex situ means off site conservation firstly i will discuss about in situ conservation in in situ conservation rather than conserving certain species we conserve whole ecosystem ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन दूध पथरी विच इज ए नियर बाय जंगल इन आवर कश्मीर सो रादर देन कंजर्विंग बियर वी विल कंजर्व होल दूध पथरी जंगल दिस टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रैटेजी इज नोन एज इन सिटू कंजर्वेशन बट इट इज सीमिंग अनरियलिस्टिक एंड इकोनॉमिकली इट इज नॉट फीजेबल बिकॉज for conservation of whole area it is not possible because there will be certain limitations and it will also need a lot of economy that our government couldn't afford but there are certain areas where in situ conservation strategies are applied okay and in situ conservation uh, strategies they are of two types one is hot spot and another is protected areas firstly i will discuss hot spots there is a criteria for hot spot a hot spot is that area which has at least 0.5% or 1500 species of vascular plants that are endemic means restricted to that area and there is another criteria that it must have lost 70% of it is vegetation in india we have three hot spots one is western ghats and sri lanka indo burma and himalayas another is protected areas these are the areas of land are c especially dedicated to protection and maintains of biological diversity these are managed by government okay and include nat national parks sanctuaries and biosphere reserves firstly about national parks these are the areas maintained by government and reserved for betterment of wildlife grazing felling of trees habitat manipulation and cultivation are not allowed there are many national parks for example yellowstone in us and in india the first national park is jim corbett national park and in kashmir we have a national park that is known as dathigam national park next is sanctuaries these are the tracts of land where animals are protected from all types of exploitation and human disturbance okay in this area collection of forest products like some twigs or some leaves harvesting of timber tilling of land private ownership they are allowed and lastly we have biosphere reserves these are special category of protected areas of land and coastal environment in biosphere reserves tribal people are integral part of it the concept of biosphere reserves was launched in 1975 by unesco as man and biosphere program it is written in abbreviated form as mab there are 14 bio reserves in india okay and a bio sphere reserve it is having three parts one is core buffer and transition zones the natural or core zone it comprises undisturbed and legally protected area 
the second zone is the buffer zone it surrounds the core area and is managed to accommodate greater research and educational activities so if you have to go for the collection of plants in dachi gum you cannot enter in the core zone you have to remain in buffer zone and outside the buffer zone there is a transition zone okay in this area there is settlement like croppings forestry recreational and other economic businesses another is ex situ conservation in this type of conservation what is happening threatened animals and plant species they are taken out of the natural habitat and they are placed under the protected areas if an animal or a plant is endangered or threatened and it needs urgent measure to save it from extinction ex situ conservation is desirable i will give you examples of ex situ conservation we have zoos we have botanical gardens and we have gene banks seed banks and there is cryo preservation firstly in botanical gardens it is also present in our shrinagar so what is happening we are bringing those plants in botanical garden which are at the risk of extinction so to save them we plant in the botanical garden there they are getting proper care so in a similar way we have zoos in zoos we keep those animals which are facing threats okay and in cryo preservation we are saving genes and other reproductive okay propagules like seeds and uh, spores at minus temperature maybe at minus 190 degree okay similarly we have seed banks in seeds banks we preserve different kinds of seeds so this was all about the strategies of the conservation thank you for listening to it if you have any doubt you can visit to my website that is www.amarpreetkaur.com